Hey guys, Billy Costa here. Thrilled to be back at Mass General Cancer Center. Every once in a while, I'm invited back here, and it's my thrill because I get to meet some very, very interesting people who are doing wonderful things, both changing lives and saving lives. And today, we're joined by Dr. Nir Hakoen. First of all, great to see you. Good to see you. Nice Nir. to meet you. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like very recently, I'm hearing the word immunology a whole lot. Is this me or is this really happening? And if so, why? You are hearing it a lot. Immunotherapy, meaning using the immune system to kill cancer, was not working for a good uh, 100 years. The breakthrough actually started in a mouse model of cancer. This one person did, Jim Allison, who actually won the Nobel Prize last year for this. He and his lab found that when they treat a mouse who has a, who has a cancer with this therapy, suddenly, turns on and attacks the tumor and kills it. And yet the immune system was always there. It was always there. And the reason that it was not working well is that your body has a way to naturally stop the immune system for, from killing the body, right? Because you don't want autoimmunity. Going forward, how do you see the future of immuno-oncology? The future is actually long. It's really just the beginning of the field. I mean, the research has been for a while. But in terms of clinical therapy, we're just at the beginning. Do you researchers ever think of yourselves as the unsung heroes? In science, the satisfaction comes from making things that actually work, that you understand and that work. And it turns out that is, for most scientists, if not almost all, that's actually the, the satisfaction. Well, good luck with that. Yeah. And a pleasure meeting you, yeah. Dr. Nehra so Cohen. Much.